da questa città. The Lido 32 boat from the Venmar shipyard draws inspiration from this city, Venice. Tutti noi vorremmo preservare questo luogo così com'è o magari consegnarlo We all would like to preserve this place as it is or maybe hand it over even better to future generations and hence the need to build a boat that is as sustainable as possible. Già, ma in che modo? Perché qui le barche a motore sono Okay, but how? Because here, motorboats are needed not only for pleasure, but for all professional navigational and transport activities. And so there is a need to have a hull and an engine that are compatible with this ecosystem. They have decided to free themselves from the autonomy limits and waiting times for recharging, typical of all battery-operated electric systems, and have also decided not to use fuel of fossil origin. And here is the ideal partner, the inboard Yanmar 4JH110 four-cylinders inline, with direct injection supercharged 1,995 cubic centimetres, 110 horsepower, at 3,000 1,200 rpm, fueled with HVO, which is hydro-treated vegetable oil. Eni has transformed the refinery in the borough of Magira into a bio-refinery that produces high-quality fuels using, among other things, the waste oils that come from cooking, frying and preserving food. Instead of polluting, that oil is used to navigate at the cost of common diesel. And it's a circular economy, because the oil is recovered in this area and used in the Margira refinery, which is nearby. And all of this, we could say, is at zero mileage. HVO is 100% produced with renewable raw materials such as vegetable waste and residues and oils generated from crops not in competition with the food chain. Any claims to obtain in this way a reduction of CO2 emissions of up to 90% compared to fossil fuels. The percentage calculated also takes into account the transport chain. In Italy, there are 150 HVO distribution points and two refineries. Let's go back to the boat that wants to be an example of sustainable navigation and an invitation to reconsider our habits to minimize pollution and costs. At the base is the concept of navigating while consuming little energy. The project, therefore, was created taking into account not only the shape of the hull, but also the point of application of thrust and weight distribution. This is why the engine is at the centre and the shaft line is used as propulsion, which, in displacement with very low drag and with its technical simplicity, remains the best in terms of reliability, duration and minimum maintenance. These are the measurements of the hull length of approval, one centimetre less than 10 metres. This means that registration in Italy is not required. The width is one centimetre less than 240 centimetres. In this way, it can enter the canals of Venice. The design is minimalist to last over time without perceiving the passing of trends. The project is signed by Cossetti Yacht Design. The boat is obviously beautiful and immaculately maintained as Venmar always does, whether it's a new build or a refit. They used various tricks to reduce weight, which is the number one enemy of anything floating. The flooring is cork, which is light and gets less hot than other materials under the sun. There are no steps because this way you are safer and more comfortable. Under the sofas, there is a stowage space and a carbon sunbathing surface is mounted between the sofas. The poles of the awning are also made of carbon, as is the dining table. Keep in mind the lightness and how easy it is to assemble these elements. The bow tow rail prevents slipping overboard. The gunwale is fully usable for sitting on and holding onto. 
The transom could be opened for comfortable bathing. The decision to move the command post to the stern has a very specific reason. From here, all the people on board are controlled. But not only that, it's also because while navigating, you are in the company with others and can help yourself to whatever is in the fridge. The backrest can be moved. But don't be fooled by its appearance. It is made of fiberglass and weighs only 1,925 kilos because it's built by vacuum infusion in a single process that includes glass fibers, a PET core and wood. The kitchen cabinet is above the engine hood. For those unfamiliar with Venmar, it is useful to know that each boat is custom built for the customer. Under the foredeck is a cabin where it is possible to stay overnight. There is heating and a toilet. Adesso però vediamo qual è l'efficienza di questo scafo. But now let's see how efficient this hull and this engine are, as well as how efficient the HVO fuel is. The Yanmar 4GH110 engine has its maximum torque between 1,800 and 3,000 RPM, and it would be good to cruise right in this range. It's a different way of navigating, and you can tell by the silence. It's obvious the revs are still low at 1,000 RPM, and we're consuming just one litre per mile. 1,800 RPM, speed 11.5 knots, fuel consumption 5 litres per hour. In one hour, we travel 11.5 miles and consume 5 litres. This means that half a litre of fuel is enough to travel one mile, perhaps even less. It's amazing, isn't it? But let's increase the speed. Let's see what happens. The trim remains constant. We have the same line that we had in displacement. We are only slightly higher above the water, but by a few centimetres. And look at the wake at the stern. This boat moves very little water. This means that energy is not needed to move this vessel because it moves a small mass. Not only that, but by moving little water here, especially in Venice, we don't damage the banks. We don't damage the foundations of the houses. And we don't disturb the other boats moored along the canals. It's amazing. Do you hear it through the wind now? And we're going faster, we're at 14 knots. Consumption? Always half a litre per mile, 7 litres per hour at 2,200 RPM. Take another look at the weight. Less and less water is being moved by the hull. Incredible. What you don't expect is that when you push on the accelerator and go to 2,800 RPM, it becomes even more aggressive and responsive. Although it doesn't seem to be in its nature, nonetheless, it is brilliant because it accelerates in an instant. Here is some data for you. 2,800 RPM. We have a consumption of 12 litres per hour and we are at 19 knots. I am more and more astounded. Check the wake of this boat. It's flat. At this point, all I have to do is go full throttle. The tachometer lit up red went a little over the top because we are very loaded. There are only three people on board, 70% fuel and 35% water. Yet this vessel 
can have a much greater load, so it's also calibrated to have many passengers. And in fact, the engine even reaches 3,320 RPM. The speed is 24 knots and the consumption is 21 litres. Even at full throttle, it runs less than a litre per mile. High efficiency and low costs. Mi auguro che una barca come questa, Lido 32D. I hope that a boat like this, the Lido 32 by Venmar, will lead us to consider alternative ways of navigating with very low fuel consumption, emissions and costs, despite this being a 10 meter.